É um bom que eu falo, eu falo, eu falo, eu got a box here from pop figures and this is three of their 7.99 mystery boxes that went on sale sort of mid last week these have come out pretty quick very exciting i've got three of them 7.99 each and i haven't done a mystery box in quite some time maximum of three per customer 7.99 seems pretty reasonable so i thought why not um even if it's three pops that i'm not that interested in eight pound each isn't exactly a fortune and hopefully there'll be some good stuff for sale or trade even more hopefully i might win one of the top prizes so the top prizes and i'll flash all the information on screen as well while i'm talking i think was 250 pound pop figures website credit and then there was also 50 pound website credit and the three grails that were on offer grails in inverted commas were toucan sam the fruit loops mascot which i would love being a big ad icons fan um thorin oaken shield from the hobbit i think and the original toy story woody pop so they're the three big hitters in actual physical funko pop form i've bought three boxes i want to see what i've got <laughs> I'll put TPD values on screen as we go through these as well. I'm not battling with anybody, so it's not like oh, whoever's boxes are worth more wins. I was hoping to do a battle here with Scarlet Albatross Pops, but she was unable to pick these boxes up. They did sell out really quick, and I was lucky that I was able to get three for myself. But never mind, onwards and upwards. And when I go onwards and when I go upwards, it's usually involving the use of a trusty yellow knife. Ooh, 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 if I could melt your heart, ooh, we'd never be apart. All right, and now let us have a this all. Woo! So as I say, first mystery box I've done in a while. I've got to turn off to the side a bit here. It's not a massive box, but it's pretty big. And I haven't really got enough room to be opening it very successfully up here. But I might have been better off sitting down for it. I shall risk it. I'll run the risk. But I'm not a big mystery box guy, as you know. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, usually the only mystery boxes that I do, certainly in the Funko Pop game, are battles with friends and fellow YouTubers, and I've not done one of those since um, sometime last year. Ah, so looks like everything's been double boxed. So there's one box, there's two, and there's three. So there's your empty box there. So that's made me a lot more room. Exciting. What am I hoping for? Like I say, Toucan Sam would be marvellous. The £250 website credit would be marvellous, but um, someone's got to win it. I think there were 250 of these 7 99 boxes up for grabs on the day. And like I say, they sold out very quick. So let's start slizzling once again. Be a little bit careful here. Try not to look. There is some air. Free air. Cannot be bad. Ah, they're in sorters. They're in sorters. We're all right. The obligatory pop figures jelly beans. They're nice enough, but in the risk of repeating myself once again, um, there's been too much jelly bean chatter on Facebook group Funko Freaks, for one. You've got too much time on your hands, people. <laughs> but yeah, great jelly beans. I'm assuming there might be two more packs as well. Right, so my first pull is... Not looking. Is it a protector? It is Kid 
Flash. Um, uh, in pop television, number 714. I'm trying to read what it says under the Flash there. Oh, fastest man alive. So, Kid Flash, that's nice, I suppose. Um, not one for my collection. I kind of like his mask. He looks a bit like a luchador, really. There's some of the others on here. I don't know the values of these, and um, I will flash them up, the TPD values, as of the day of me recording this video. So you can tot up at the end to see whether I made a profit on this uh, three mystery box bundle here. No idea how much that's worth. Not one for my collection. So this one is for sale or trade. So if you're interested in Kid Flash, then please get in touch. You know all my contact details. All that sort of stuff is in the description text box. So pull number one was uh, not exactly very interesting for me. But we've got two more to go and that's the game with the mystery boxes. You never know what you're going to get. Could be a big hit. Could be a big miss. I don't think there's guaranteed value here either. But like I say, when you're only paying £8 per box, I think um, you're generally going to make most, if not all, your money back. And then usually a little bit more besides. More free air. More bloody jelly beans. Pop number two. <laughs> oh, that's nice, I suppose. Not anything I collect again. But 519, it's the 35 year anniversary Fraggle Rock pop. This is red with Doozer. That's quite nice. I do like the pops with the little mini pop. Kind of like a two pack that's really technically a one pack. Or a one pack that's two. It's not a one pack, that doesn't make sense. But you know what I mean. Um, there we go. Coming a protector. Looks great condition. Not one for my collection. I like it a lot better than Kid Flash, that's for certain. This is the best pull so far. But uh, there again, this will be up for sale or trade. Not one for me, but I do like it. Pretty cool. I did used to watch Fraggle Rock when I was a kid. I've just not got the nostalgia for it that I have for other things around that time period of the kind of mid 80s. But a nice range to collect, I think, if you're into sort of Muppet type characters and Jim Henson stuff. So uh, anyone who wants this, let me know. Hit me up, as they say. Right, I've only got one more shot at getting one of the Grails, preferably to Sam, although if I got one of the other ones I wouldn't complain, but um, I don't play these mystery boxes often enough because I just don't feel lucky enough to be doing it very often and I like to just really buy what I want rather than just take a gamble all the time, but this seemed a pretty good mystery box to do. Last chance for me to pull something reasonably interesting. Once again, we'll have a slice. Once again, air pockets, a third bag of jingy beans. I've got my change back now. <laughs> right. And here we go. Feels like it's got some weight to it, this, whatever it is. Right. Wish me luck. Please be something that I at least quite like. I doubt there's going to be any really good exclusives apart from the three grails that we were talking about earlier so it's likely to be mostly commons i think other than uh, the top prizes but, uh, pop number three is oh <laughs> i quite like that that's all right i don't think it's worth an awful lot like i don't think any of these are but venomized thanos he's number 510 in the marvel venom line of course um, the Venomized Pop's very popular. I do have a Venom. That was the first ever Marvel Pop that I bought. It's the one where you can see Eddie Brock transforming into the symbiote. I love that Pop and I bought that pretty much as soon as I watched the Venom movie, which I thought was great. If I was going to keep one, going to keep a Pop out of these three, it would probably be this, but I don't know. I'm undecided because I want to get certain Marvel Pops since watching the MCU and I'm watching WandaVision and I'm waiting for the latest collector core box as well coming from America. I don't know. I might keep Venomized Thanos. He looks pretty cool, but I might not. But if someone wants him, you can have him. 
if someone really needs this for their collection, let me know. But just as a quick recap, um, I think this was a pretty good mystery box. Nothing overly exciting. Thanos certainly the pick of the bunch for me. Uh, Value-wise, like I say, you will have seen on screen what these are worth. But uh, my favourite of the three, Venom is Thanos there. And I also got a very nice pop here. Fraggle Rock, red with Doozer. And also, of course, I got something I'm really not familiar with whatsoever, but Kid Flash from The Flash. So, three nice pops, all in pop protectors. Um, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I think it would be more fun for me personally if I was battling with someone here, and then I was totting up the scores, and then watching the other person, my opponent's video, to find out how they done. But um, hopefully next time I'll be doing a mystery box in that versus format but um, just as a kind of thing to do by myself pretty cool like i say venomized thanos that's a pretty good pull might keep it but if you really want this or need this for your collection i'm happy to let it go certainly happy to let kid flash and red and doza go so anyone who wants any of these then uh, just let me know and they are yours and that's it, really. So thank you all for watching, and special thanks, as always, to all of my wonderful subscribers and patrons. Please see the referral links for all kinds of Funko products and protectors down in my description text box. There's discount codes. There's all sorts of good shiz. And also, my Facebook group link and my Patreon link are down there, too. I'm going to go now and, well... Just have a look at these pops that this one would fit the collection now kind of the other two don't really and i'm not interested in keeping them but i had fun with this and i think at the price it wasn't expensive eight pound a pop this was a lot of fun and i would certainly do it again so cheers everyone see ya